Um, we've got one of our tip-tip friends that we usually use that uh, is taking us. We had such a hard time this morning coming out of our hotel. We had so many other guys following us um, and saying that, do you want to come with us? And there was people waiting outside. Yes, we hadn't told him the time that we were meeting him, so there's another man out there. They just tried to take his kid with. So, um, yeah, so we got a, a little harassed this morning, and it's really, really, really hot today. Yeah, so we're planning to do a little bit today in terms of vlogging, and then maybe we will go see the turtle hatchery as well today. So, we'll keep you guys updated, and yeah, see you guys too. So we've just arrived in Gaul. It was a long, not so much of a long trip, about an hour and a half I would say. Really rough trip on the road. Um, the cars here do not give you way and they are crazy, crazy drivers. So we had a bit of a rough trip on the way here. And um, But the views were breathtaking. There were so many nice beaches on the way. We're planning to stop on one of those beaches a bit later just to see if we can take some pictures and maybe just a few videos. We're just going through the Gaal Fort now and we will meet our tuk-tuk driver a little later. Um, yeah, it's super hot here again. It's really hard to walk in this heat. Everyone seems to be carrying umbrellas and is like, you know, shading themselves against the heat. up at the fort you can see a I think a cricket stadium there cricket club I think it is you can see some of the buildings this is Gaal is apparently the one of the biggest cities in the south area of Sri Lanka and it's um, got a clock tower over there on that side we've got, we've got quite a few tourists here there's some of the Sri Lankan people are here themselves as well so. just look at the breathtaking view here guys Guys, this is so beautiful. You've got like the scenery from the fort. It's really high up, so you can see a lot of the city, and they've got the their water here. It's like a sea green color. And you've got on this side um, a little bit more greenery. You've got like some buildings, and then if you turn over on this side, you've got the clock tower over there, and some more people that are filming. I keep getting asked to take pictures with people I don't know why hey ho maybe it's because I'm filming that they want to have pictures with me guys looks like we have a young Sri Lankan team here there's a lot of um, interest in cricket here from the youngsters I've seen just arrived at the top part of the clock tower so you can see the clock more prominently there then you've got like beautiful gardens from here so you can see the ocean the gardens So guys, we've just been told that underneath this um, fort over here is actually a prison um, and apparently it's still there. Whether it's being used or not, I don't know, um, but it is. There's lots of like um, engravings on here. This is from probably people that have been here and seen here and visited. There's a lot of couples here. I think this is like a couple hangout. We're 
down there is a shrine. Um, apparently it's a Muslim shrine because there was someone, a chief or someone that passed away and they then built this shrine for this person and a lot of Muslims come here to visit this site. This is one of the second holy sites that they got in Sri Lanka that Muslims pay visits to. I don't know what this is, but it's some sort of nice big rock that we're just sitting here and chilling and taking some pictures in the heat, obviously. Guys, we're at another viewpoint now. This is quite near the um, the lighthouse that's famous in Gaal. So yeah, I just climbed the fort. Just a bit, piece of advice for you guys. Don't be like me and wear flip-flops to the fort climb or to these viewpoint climbs. I mean, they're amazing viewpoints, but it's really not a good idea to climb in flip-flops because you could potentially fall. All the locals are actually climbing in flip-flops and they're standard basic um, sandals. But I would say that come with good shoes um, because I nearly slipped. Because the area around the fort and when you climb up, it's is uh, slippery and also quite rocky as well and because it's so hot you really need your glasses as well if it, the sun's out like it is today I wouldn't have been able to film or take any pictures of myself without having the sunglasses on so that's a tip for you guys so don't come with flip-flops and make sure you have your glasses and if you have a hat bring a hat with you because all the locals are carrying umbrellas I think the umbrella would be a little bit too much for me with the camera, the bag and obviously walking around so I think a hat would have been a good idea so for you guys that want to come here, bring a hat so guys the fort was free to get into it's classed as a world heritage site here in Gaal um, we're heading off to see the lighthouse now yeah guys I, I'm sweating profusely honestly it's, I can't tell you guys how hot it is I'm glad the entry here was free because a lot of the places charge you guys tourist rates so you have to be really careful here's a lighthouse up front a bit more close and then you've got on the other side over here you've got some hotel and then you've got one of the biggest mosques there I think it's one of the oldest mosques in um, Sri Lanka so you've got one over here there you go There. and then here you've got the lighthouse which was built in 1938 look how big it is and strong they've got a little bit of I don't know what that is but it's obviously some sort of building that was built here I haven't done my research on here so I don't really know what everything is and we don't actually have a tour guide which is absolutely fine because we're working out how to do everything ourselves
So I'm just going down now from the lighthouse and I will show you guys the mosque a little up front as well. You can see the views from here. Literally no point wearing makeup here because everything I had on has just melted off. I keep saying not to wear it but then I end up wearing it and um, not much weight. Guys, we just come across to the lighthouse now and there's like, as you go down the steps, there's a, another little um, seafront. So you've got like a kind of sand, but this sand's not as nice. It's kind of like rocky and um, got quite a bit of stones and sticks and dirt. And you've got like the ocean, but the ocean on this side again is rough. So you've got the sign here. This again is a the Garlifo is a premises which has already been inscribed as a World Heritage by UNESCO and it was in the year 1988. So guys, we've got wild peacocks here and they are gorgeous. So this, this, is, this is a beach that we're going past, so um, this one is basically where the, the great tsunami happened. What year did the tsunami happen? 2004. 2004 was the tsunami, it destroyed quite a lot in Sri Lanka and a lot of people died because of the tsunami. It came just um, unexpectedly, there wasn't expecting the tsunami. But you can see the water, the ocean here, is a lot rougher than the other areas. Guys, there's actually a temple in the sea, I don't know if you guys can see from here. So this is a local memorial for people that passed away in the tsunami. The journey here was quite rough. The roads here are really, really rough to be honest. And because it's really busy at this time of year, the weekend is a Saturday today. And they've got a holiday tomorrow because of the full moon. These views here are breathtaking and on the way here, so to come in a tuk tuk or a car is usually better um, because you'll see a lot more than you would see on the train because you get to see the village people, um, the markets, and you'll get to see like, the sea. Um, the viewpoints are really, really nice. But the people here in terms of um, driving is really rough on the road, the people don't give you way, it's really difficult to cross over, and that's generally throughout. Um, of Sri Lanka that I've found so far.